Hey, what's up guys, Blue Phoenix here, and I just want to say thank you for showing me so much support on my uh, previous video, my live stream, when I had a lot of discussion about Spider-Man Homecoming. To be honest, I didn't think it would get that many views, like around 70, but for some reason, like hours, it just gave me like 100 views. You guys just gave me 100 views. So, of course, because of you guys showing so much love and support in the video, I had to make a part two, so thank you guys. I love you so much because, you know, this really means a lot to me. A lot. So basically I seen like the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer. It looks pretty dope because not only Spider-Man is fighting against the Green Goblin, I'm assuming because you know I just discussed my theories. But anyway, not only Spider-Man is fighting Green Goblin, but also the Avengers I think is fighting Green Goblin or the Iron Man or someone. It's either Iron Man or the Avengers, but I definitely know Iron Man is going to be in there because you know I saw the trailer. But this time we have a new Peter Parker, it's a new series, everything is new, 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 new. Like the Amazing Spider-Man has nothing to do with that, it's just a brand new series, just fresh, brand new series, Spider-Man series. And I think the name of the guy who's starring as Spider-Man, I think his name is, crap, what's his name? So this new Spider-Man, his name is Tom Holland, Tom, Tom Holland, Tom. Tom Holland. I guess I'm just say Tom Holland. So it's a new guy called Tom Holland. Everybody say that he's like the best Spider-Man actor, but I don't really know since I, you know, never seen the movie. But the trailer, it is really good. It's like, like nothing we've ever seen. Like the main Spider-Man trailer, it was good. But this is like much, much better. Like Iron Man is in it. The Avengers is probably in it. I think. I think the Avengers in it. They should be in it. But, you know, it's new Marvel superheroes, you know, in the Spider Man movie, and that's never happened before. At least, I don't think it has. I think this is the first time happening. And now that there's like a new Spider Man, doesn't really mean that, you know, it's still Peter Parker because Peter Parker is always, his name is always going to be Peter Parker in like every single movie, but. Um, they didn't never change Peter Parker's name, you know, Spider-Man's name into anything else. It was just Peter Parker in, like, every single Spider-Man series. But, Green Goblin, one time in Amazing Spider-Man 2, wasn't, like, uh, Norman Osborn. He wasn't, like, Harry's father. Actually, he was Harry himself. So, this time, the Green Goblin, he could be Norman Osborn, Harry, Eddie Brock, he could be anybody, anybody we... He can pretty much be anybody we never uh, even heard of or come across and just be a brand new character we never heard of. Maybe, you know, a fourth generation Green Goblin or something. We, we'll never know until, you know, we see the movie. Like it says in the title right now, it's like in theater, so you can buy some tickets. I'll just leave a link in the front of the screen. You see this link, you can just click on it. I'll also leave this link in the description, probably. I'm lazy, so it depends. It's a high chance that I will leave it in the description so you can, you know, buy the tickets and purchase it in order to get, you know, in the theater. And they're doing pretty good because I heard the theater, like, raised $13 million in just one day. So they're doing pretty good. So, yeah, good job, um, Marvel, Sony, all those people. So, yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed my discussion and my theories. Uh, subscribe and comment and share and like for more and as always blue fitness we'll see you guys in the next video so peace bye bye hasta la vista see you later yeah you get the whole idea i'm not funny